it's Danny, and today I'm going to show you my award pair of Dr. Martin's shoes. Yay! <coughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> And I turn into a divvy when I'm excited. They just arrived at the shop today. Um, I signed for the parcel, looked up like what it was, and it had my name on it, like, what the hell? And then it said award pair, like, on the little sheet that was with the box. And I went <gasps> really loudly in the shop while the customers were there. Um, and I think I gave some woman a fright and I was like, sorry, can I help you? Are you all right? <laughs> but anyway, like, I ran downstairs and, um, opened me box. I'm so excited. If you watched me last video you'll know that like I just had me form to fill in about being there for a year and once you've been there for a year you get a one year award pair of shoes or boots and you can either do like a lucky dip or you can design your own and what I opted to do was a lucky dip but with some guidelines for the guys at the factory so I told them the kinds of things that I liked um, like obviously I said black and I like skulls and cobwebs and like witchy things and bones and like goth stuff but I wanted them to be very subtle goth and I kind of wanted them to be etched like sort of laser cut into the leather but not right the way through that's what I had like in my head that I wanted anyway so I wrote them like a little letter um, which I don't know if anybody else has done, but I felt really weird. But anyway, they turned up today. There was a letter in there with them. And I'll read the letter out to you. It says, hello, Danielle. My name is Tristan, and I was in charge of your award pay. Hi, Tristan, if you're watching this, yay! Um, firstly, we don't do any etching here, sorry. So they couldn't do like the etched kind of design that I was like thinking of. That's fine though. Um, I did manage to make a completely unique pair that you won't find anywhere else. Smiley face. Since you wanted an interest in leather, I decided to use Grey Arcadia, the lovely rub off leather. And I'll show you that once I get the pair out. Um, now your hints were quite tricky, but I managed to include some of the things you like, specifically bats, moons, bones and webs. I did try to keep them subtle using masking tape and a little bit of luck. Hopefully you like your creepy but classy boots. I would say your soles are creepy too, but I let you figure that out. Enjoy your award pair, Tristan. Smiley face. Ah, oh, that's so cute. So lovely that you like, wrote a little letter back. But yeah, in the last video I explained that the apprentices in the factory um, get to make everybody's award pair. So obviously Tristan has been my assigned apprentice. So... This is the first one. There's a little moon there. Aww. And there's some little bones there. Very, very cute. And I'll show you what he means by the souls. Can you see there's a skeleton? <laughs> so cute. I didn't even know about that. I'd like gone upstairs to save somebody and the rest of the staff were just looking at the shoes. And my manager came up and said, the skeleton's underneath. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> So, I've, I've got no idea, like, how he's managed to do that. Like, obviously he slotted it in when they were attaching the soles, but I don't know what the skeleton's made of or anything. Really cute, though. And I'll show you the next one. And that has a bat there. And, like, a cobweb kind of effect there. And the same little skeleton underneath Yay! Hello, you're all right. So basically, the kind of leather that he's made these out of, um, I'll show you where the bones are there. You can see they're like a grey kind of colour. If I get them out, the shine of the light. There we go. Like a grey kind of colour. And I don't know what to do exactly to get the top layer of leather off, but when he said he used masking tape, we all kind of assumed that he's um, left, he's like masking taped over the shoes, left these bits exposed in the little designs, and then somehow kind of blasted the top layer off. I don't know how they do that, unfortunately. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's like a secret or not. Whether I should know this, ah! um, it's really good anyway, and 
as you can see the underside is grey and it's a little bit shiny as well where the grey is. Can you see? Kind of? Different kind of texture anyway to the black bits. Um, but when these boots start to wear and like crease up there and around here the will expose more of the grey and they'll sort of start to, to crackle a little bit um, so it's going to make for like a really interesting pair of boots. Oh, a little moon. That's so sweet. Um, what they've got on the inside, I don't know if you're going to be able to see there, but that's like the one year award stamp. And I've also got my name stamped on the inside of the tongue. Oh, it's so lovely and it, I think it's such a good service that they do for people. It's so nice. I don't know any other company that would sort of reward the staff as frequently as Dr. Martens do. Such a great company to work for and oh I can't wait to wear the boots and start wearing them in and like seeing what the leather starts to look like once it's all like creased and worn and exciting. Like with all the made in England pairs of shoes you get this little booklet and it's basically just got loads of information inside about the manufacturing process. Loads of stuff. It kind of takes you along like step by step the stages of making the shoes and it's a really really interesting read. I'm not going to like sit and tell you the ins and outs of me in England right now but basically they're really good. <laughs> it's like really super duper luxury leather they're all totally made by hand as well, so the really, really talented guys that work in the factory there. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll try and answer them as best I can. Um, I know there is like a custom service on the Dr. Martens website, so you can design your own boots, send them to the factory and get them made for you. It is pricey, but it's totally worth it. Like, I've seen some of them, like I went on a factory trip and saw some uh, like celebrity shoes and like shoes that had been made for famous bloggers and things and the things they can do is so interesting like all kinds of glitter and like different textures and tassels and all sorts but yeah really really awesome um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later bye